Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in South Korea. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We start with the Yoon Kishida summit to be held in just a day from today. The leaders of South Korea and Japan are not expected to release a joint statement after their summit in Tokyo tomorrow, despite the occasion being deemed a breakthrough in bilateral diplomacy. But they will focus on ways to move their relationship forward, with the chiefs of South Korea's biggest conglomerates joining the delegation to spearhead economic cooperation. Woo Soo-young has our top story. Rather than setting a statement in stone, the leaders of South Korea and Japan will work on building a solid foundation to improve bilateral ties through economic and diplomatic exchanges. A presidential official told reporters Wednesday that President Yoon suk yeol and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will hold a press conference after their talks and share the results of their discussion in turn, but there will not be a joint statement. The official said the summit is significant in restoring bilateral ties, which hit a critical low after 2018, but the milestone is yet a stepping stone in building future-oriented relations. While addressing their differences over history, which are domestically sensitive issues for both Yoon and Kushida, and which triggered a trade dispute in 2019, the two leaders will focus on advancing areas they agree on. This will include restoring a ministerial-level platform on economic issues, including finance, trade and science and technology, as the two leaders discuss ending Japan's restrictions on exports of chip materials to South Korea. Given South Korea's reliance on global trade for economic growth, Seoul's senior presidential secretary for economic affairs said Tokyo is an obvious and inevitable partner in economic cooperation to strengthen supply chains, expand South Korea's export industries and nurture new tech sectors. We can lead the way in new future technologies if we can maximize our synergy in R&D by combining South Korea's strength in chips, displays and other strategic technologies with Japan's strength in basic science. In resetting economic ties, the president will attend a roundtable of key business figures on Friday, with the chiefs of Samsung, SK, LG, Hyundai and Lotte groups joining the session, as well as representatives of small and medium firms. Yoon will also meet with members of bilateral friendship groups and deliver a lecture to Korean and Japanese university students. As the momentum for rapprochement grows, Kodo News has reported that Kishida is mulling a visit to South Korea after he hosts the G7 meeting in May. He is likely to invite Yoon to join the summit in Hiroshima. Woo Seung, Arirang News.